Cowboys Fan TV, back again. Long time no see. Uh, we've been struggling a bit lately with the back to back to back to back Cowboys defeats here. Bit depressing. Um, got some uni stuff on as well, so we've been struggling at it, but we're trying to make the trying to make the comeback this week. And to start off, we're gonna just quickly make a quick video about our top ten Dell M um, players so far this season. Just to um yeah, just to recap that C has been playing well. And um to start off with in tenth on six points is Jerome Hughes from the Storm, so um, yeah, well, I think everyone, as the season came around, everyone was having questions about the fullback spot for the Storm, but Jerome Hughes is, like, breaking tackles, making heaps of meters, and he's doing his job at the back, um, good at second phase play, and he's popping up in the right spots, so, yeah. Yeah, I think he's been doing a fantastic job at the back there for the undefeated Storm. Um, and ninth, also on six points, is the... Probably one of the players of the round last weekend, Cody Walker. Four tries and five eighth in that Warriors game, so. Yeah, he's one of those instinctive players. I think he'll continue to grab points um, for the Deli M rankings um, if the Rabbitohs are doing good. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, especially with the loss of GI, the halves are going to really start stepping up in the next um, couple of weeks and he'll keep climbing up that ladder. In oh, on in eighth place on seven points, the Canberra hooker Josh Hodson and what a start to year Canberra have made. No one would have predicted this, in my opinion. So and he's been fantastic for them. Yeah, I think for Canberra it's a matter of if they can maintain consistency. Um, but obviously driven by Josh Hodson in in the opening rounds, um, he's been. Well, I think he's the the top try assist uh, person. Uh, for their team, so he's obviously a pivotal player, and that's why he's on seven points. Yep. Uh, also on seven is um, some to be tipped for Queensland captain this season, after loss of Greg Inglis. Um, been very good for Manly as well. Cherry Evans only just got back into the fold for Origin last year, but some some are saying he might be stepping up as a captain, and I think he deserves the number seven spot the way he's been playing this season. Um, yeah, just on that, I think he will get the number seven. And I think this might be a little bit of an oddball, but I think Morgan might push into the centers um, for game one. Um, but yeah, he's been steering the ship at Manly um, for a number of years. And I think if Manly win games, he's always going to have that chance um, to do good in the Dalian rankings. And uh, this is notable this season. Yeah, I think he's finally playing up to that million dollar name tag he's had for a couple of seasons now. Also on seven points in sixth spot is Clint Gutherson from Parramatta. So they started off pretty well other than that loss last week to uh, yesterday to Canberra 19-0. But he's been very instrumental for that Parramatta team. Um, yeah, very good fullback, finding form at the right time. He's off contract at the end of the season and some reports saying the Cowboys are looming. I'd be down to sign him, but um, tonight I saw that the Eels are stepping up their um, the wage on him this week. They had a, a, a meeting with him because the proposed wages was too low, so they obviously want to keep him, so they're increasing that. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next couple of days. Yeah, King Gutho. Um, he's a real leader. I think he his main character, characteristic is his defence and his communication. Um, but he's really come to life and attack with his second phase play and, uh, and and good try assist this at the start of this season. So I think he will continue to get um, like twos and threes in every game um, as long as Eels keep winning. Yeah, um, fifth, in fifth place on eight points. Um, what a fantastic first two games of the season this player had, the Robbie Farrow hooker of the Tigers. So Tigers have been doing quite well this season. Robbie Farrow, no one thought of it. He's been stepping up, putting some very good performances. A lot of fantasy points, one of the top scorers in that so far as well. And he's in fifth place for our Deli M rankings. What can I say about my Lebo cuz Robbie Farrow? He's fucking turning it up. Nah, he's, he's sort of winding back the clock a little bit. 
Um, he's doing a good job there. Um, obviously, West Tigers um, got a win in the week um, against the Broncos, and he played a real big part in that. Um, and I think, um, you know, you could argue that they have young halves or inexperience, but um, I think he sort of brings the mould of the team together and has a good kicking game, which is always good from uh, dummy half. Yep, in fourth place, another Parramatta player, Mitch Moses, is making that half spot his own on eight points. The loss of Corey Norman, some thought would be big, but Moses has stepped up and um, really steered that ship on his own there. So, yeah, I think that's all Moses needed. Um, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a free reign uh, to that halfback position. You know, taking it all um, in his own hands. Um, and that's been noted uh, with his kicking and uh, his try assist this season. Um, and it's been real good um, for kick restarts as well. So, yeah, in third place on nine points um, is RTS, the Dalian winner from last season, and the three. Um, yeah, he's obviously got three three pointers from us from the three wins the Warriors have, and yeah, he's just been just been excellent in those games. Um, always a standout performer, especially this year without Johnson. And um, he won it last year and he's going up there again this year. I don't think he will win it, but yeah, he's been a fantastic player so far. Most meters made. Um, yeah, good start. At the moment, he's the best fullback in the in the comp, without a doubt, in my mind. <laughs> um, he's just so elusive, so fast, so so good like laterally um although he lacks that last pass in some instances he sort of he makes up for it with his runs and uh i think any any team would love to have him uh at fullback and second on nine points is the player i think is the best fullback in the game james tedesco so had a bit of a quiet start but last week and this week as well the roosters have really stepped it up through him I think last year, the one thing that was lacking was his final ball to get that assist out on the edges, and he's really started to excel in that. Brilliant tackle breaker, fast, reliable Australian fullback now. So, <coughs> Roosters go back to back, back to back. He's really going to step it up again, and yeah, he's just been fantastic so far. Yeah, um, I just think, uh, obviously, a shaky start to last season. And a bit of a slow start to this season, but has really come into his own. Um, you know, he's such an explosive player. Um, and I think, yeah, for Roos just to go all the way again, he needs to be firing. And he has been um, to start this season. That's why he's up, up there in second spot. Yeah, and leading our way on 11 points, two points clear at the moment for us, is um, Cameron Munster from the Storm. So what a start to the season they've made, five from five. Um, and he's been the standout player, I think, him and Hughes. Um, yeah, what can I say? Australian number six, Queensland number six. He's very good at second phase play. Um, just play, just run first, pass later. I think his motto is very strong for a 5 8 as well. Um, yeah, like bumps off a few players, puts good hits on. And um, yeah, I think he's one of the best sixes in the game this season. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, th I think if uh, if the Storm were without um, Cameron Munster, they would not be 4 0 to start the season, without a doubt. Hey? 5 0. Oh, yeah, 5 0, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's such a such a good player. And uh, he, he wasn't my tip for Dell M um, this season, but um, he's sort of getting up there now. Um, considering he's uh, at the top after five rounds. Yep, so that was our top 10 Dally M players in our opinion so far. It's not the actual um, Dally M, but yeah, so those were yeah, our thoughts. Um, put yours down in the comments down below and tune in next time for another video.